All right, hello guys. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a user info command. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be user info command. This this video might be longer than usual, but let's get uh, straight to the video. So first, we're gonna like always const uh, mess message embed equals require a discord.js. Then let me just do logger that exports equals and then name. Um, I just do user info and then I'm gonna uh, run. Oops. Okay. So now let's get started. So let's define user. So we're going to say let user equals message dot mentions dot members dot first. Oops. And then we're going to add we're going to add the dub the pipes. That's what they're called. That's mean that means or. So the the, the double pipes mean or. So then we're gonna do a message dot guild dot members dot cash dot get args zero. Alright. And then we're then we're oops. And then we're gonna do we're gonna add another or then we're gonna do message dot member. So then now let's get started. First, um, just for now, I'm gonna make this full screen. So then we're gonna, so we're gonna define this. Let's status, okay. And then we're gonna add a switch. So let's add a switch. Okay, hold up. Switch. And then we're gonna do user. Dot presence. Dot status. So this gives the status of the user which means like if the user's online offline so right now um i will get the so let me just do this case equals on, oops case online i'm gonna do oops, colon and then we're gonna do status equals let's just say online for now i would i would give the id um, later on in the video i'm gonna put the id in for here I could just do it. I'll just do it after this. Then we're gonna do case. Um, let's do D and D. Status equals um, D and D. I just do D and D. And then we're gonna do. We're gonna add a break. Then we're gonna do case uh, idle colon status equals idle. And then we're gonna add a we're gonna add a break. Then we're gonna add a, a last case. We're gonna add a case offline status equals um, offline. And then we're gonna add a we're, then we're gonna add a break. So now, so now um, I'm gonna go on my server. I'm gonna go on my server and get the IDs of the emojis. So um, this is the emoji I want to use. This is the one I have to use. These emojis have to be in your server. The will have to be in the server have to be in the server that your bot is in. So in order to get the ID, you put a backslash in front of it. So you go like this. And this and this will give you the ID. So you have to copy and paste all this. And then you put that in there. Put all fine. And then now that's all set. So now let's start with the embed. So we're gonna do cons embed equals new message embed. And then we're gonna we're gonna add a, a title. So we're gonna do set title. Um, let's see. So we're gonna add backticks. 
then we're gonna do user dot dot user dot username. So this will return the username of a user, and then we're gonna do stats. So if we do this, it's gonna say the their username stats. We also can set a color dot set color. I usually like um, I'm gonna just do hashtag. I'm gonna do a, a like a light white. So you can add any color you want, any color. We it will give you any color. It has to be in hex form. Um, I believe it has to be in hex form. And then we're gonna do dot set dot set thumbnail. So it's user dot user dot display avatar URL. And then now I'm gonna add an away message dot channel dot send embed. So let's see how this looks right now. So yeah, let's go on Discord. And let's do is my bot running let's double check terminal i have a node mod installed so it is running so let's do m user so as you can see it gives me that so let's do user info at test and see it returns that the bot so that works and then let's do an id let's let's do an id so let's get an id of this guy and then see that works already we have we have dimensions the ID and what else dimensions ID and yourself working all working so now we're, now what we're gonna do we're gonna add fields so that add fields and then we're gonna add uh, the brackets so then we're gonna add a name what do we want to do so we do a name let's just do add a colon a name and then make sure you add a comma value let's do user oops not caps it, you have to it's case sensitive JavaScript everything is case sensitive like uh, variables yeah it's case sensitive um, so that's there now let's what else can we do oops we can do the discriminator so let's do name how do I do this? I forgot. Okay. Yeah, right there. This. Oh. Damn it. Hash. We can do that. And then we can do discriminator. Add a colon. Let me do the value. User.user.discriminator. Let's add inline true to these first two. Inline true. Um, comma and line true so this will return the discriminator like the this would this right here does the username so like QGB and then this right here would give the hashtag so hashtag 2101 that's mine and then now we can we can add the ID of a user so we can do name ID we can do this I let me get this off. We can do ID, and then this will return. We give a value of user dot user dot discriminator. I believe that's it. We're not going to edit in, in line truths to that because we want that. We want the, I want that on a different line. So then now we can do the current status. So this is where. So this is where, what I added above the switch, where I added above, this is where this plays a role. So you can see I have status. So we're just gonna add a value of status. That's all we're gonna do. So now if I run this, let's see how it looks. So we can do M user. Oh, do I have an error? I might have an error somewhere. Oh, right here. And right here make sure you always add commas see it provides DND with an emoji that's good that's what I want so let's say if I do M user this guy it's gonna it's gonna return not DND okay good that's working nice all right so then now let's now let's, what do we want to do now? Let me do the activity. Wait, what is this song? So 
sorry, I don't know what that song is. And then we do activity. Sorry, I changed the song. And then a value. What can we do to value? So we could do user dot dot presence dot activity. And then we're gonna run a turn over here. So if, if they do have an activity, if they have an activity sent, um, we're gonna do dot dot name. So we're gonna give it a name. If the user has an activity, like if the user is playing something or like has activity, um, we're gonna return the name of it. But then if a user is not playing anything, we're gonna return user isn't playing anything. Oh. Dot name. Oh, control. Wait, what? Make sure you use backticks here since we're going to use a comma. So, user isn't playing a game. So, we can do that. And we can add, we can add this to inline true if you. If you, if you please. If you please, you can do that. And now what we can do, we can do the avatar link. So, avatar link. We can add a colon to this. I hate this, I have a 60% 60, 60 keyboard, so. So value, we can do, so let's make the link short, because if we don't make the link short, it's going to be very long. So we can do this, so this is um, just the standard form of shortening the a URL. I um, forgot the exact name of it, but this is how you do it with Discord, you shorten to make a URL. So we can do click, we can do click here, add a bracket. Now you have to add right next to it, no spaces in between. You add, um, I forgot the name of it too. You add this thing. Okay. So then we're going to add a U. Oh, make sure you. Okay. The user dot. User dot display avatar URL. Make sure you add another parenthesis. I think that's what. No, it doesn't. I don't know. Just make sure you add the circle thing around it and then the brackets. Right, like this. Okay. You don't have to set that to inline true if you don't if you please not to. So now what can we do now? We can do the creation date. That's a good. One. Creation creation date. Uh, a va a value um user dot user dot created at I believe. That's that's good. And we can add it inline, inline true. And now we can add a comma. And then we can do a name, um, joined date. So the day that they joined the server, we can do this. So we can do a value, uh, user dot user dot join that. I believe that's the inline. Oh, make sure you add a comma here. Inline true. All right. And then what can we do now? We can do user roles. So we do value. So we're going to run user dot roles dot cache dot map. And then we're going to do row equal. We're gonna run an arrow function right here. So we're gonna put, we're gonna two string it, and then we're gonna join it together. So we can do dot join. So there, we can put anything we want in the join. We can add a space. We can put a comma. So here, I will show you what a comma looks like. And then in line, true. So. This is basically it. So let's let's check this out. Do 
have an error. Where's my error at? Two string. Where? Let me see. Roll. Hmm. What did I do wrong here? So choose for that rolls that cash on map. Roll equals arrow function. Oh, I know what I did wrong here. Easy fix. I have to put this right. Okay. I, I forget the name of the these brackets. So I have to do this. Roll arrow function. Roll that string. Parenthesis things, and then a close in parenthesis, and then dot join. So we're going to join it with a comma. So let's see how that looks now. See, it has user test row, and then it's a comma after each one. If we want, we can add space comma. So let's see how that looks. And boom. Very simple. Right. Oh, and this has to be that join that. That's why it's not working. All right. See? See how it gives you the full date? You can make it smaller. You can shrink it. So we're gonna um so we're gonna do two locale date string and we're gonna set it to E N U S. So English US. And then we're gonna just copy and paste this. See right here. And that should work. Let's let's see. Let's see how it looks now. See? It's shortened it just to the date. Like the month. The month, the month, day, and year. So yeah, very simple, very simple command. And you can see my activity is Spotify. Um, yeah, it's very simple. And yeah, so let's test m user info at hype and see it returns his stuff. Status offline, his info. Oh, I messed up the. Oh, that I messed up to offline. That's why. This this is supposed to be in offline. And now that should work. Let's double check this. There you go, now it's fixed, now it's fixed. And then now, yeah, it's all fixed. Now let's run the ID, do double check. And then, yeah, it's all good. So, oh, we can also add a hashtag in front of this. So we're gonna put this, put the discriminator in back ticks. Oops, back ticks. And then put a hashtag right here, money sign, bracket. Now, if we run this again, there, all set, man. It's all done. Um, so I'm uploading the repo to GitHub. I posted my whole bot on GitHub, my whole bot. Um, so you can fork it if you want. You can, you know, download it and use it. It's the basic commands. It's my weather command, a user info, Instagram, Corona command. Uh, the bot info command. There's a clear command, uh, a help command, and a ping command. That's all right now that I've added to the bot for you guys, for you guys to, um, yeah, to fork if you want. And that's it, man. Have a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure you give the video a like, a, a like if you like it, a thumbs down if you thumbs down, a comment. I appreciate it, and yeah.